This is the Stock Trend News Minute. I'm Don Belarjan. Well, there's more news about another bank showing healthy signs. More in 15 seconds. Have you or a loved one taken the birth control pill Yaz or Yasmin? Has there been an experience with any of these potentially deadly conditions? If so, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Call 1-800-WIN-WIN-1. The Eichholz Law Firm for a free consultation. EBITDA for Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce for its 12 months ended April 30th was $385.8 million, a 19.4% increase over the year earlier, same 12 months. It's an eight-year high for the bank. Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce has now generated 39 consecutive quarters of positive EBITDA. Shares of Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce are recently trading at just under $70. Now, EBITDA, of course, is an acronym for earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization. It's an approximate measure of a company's operating cash flow based on data from the company's income statement. This earnings measures a particular interest in cases where companies have large amounts of fixed assets which are subject to heavy depreciation charges, such as manufacturing companies or in a case where a company has a large amount of acquired intangible assets on its books and is thus subject to large amortization charges, such as a company that has purchased a brand or perhaps another company that has recently made a large acquisition. For more information about EBITDA, visit the website StockTrendNews.com. Again, that's StockTrendNews.com.